and Chelsea here at the KRC for the Cirque du Soleil Verakai, and they've got quite the setup backstage. This is amazing. I'm just blown away uh, from the logistics, the, the, the organization of, of all these road cases and the wardrobe and the gear. I'm sure the, I'm sure this, the show itself is going to be pretty cool, but I'm... I've seen a Cirque, a Cirque show before, and I know they're fantastic, but what I didn't know is how much they travel with. We were listening to uh, their PR person, and they even travel with their washer and dryer. Yeah. They take care of everything. So we're going to take some behind-the-scenes look, maybe talk to a performer, maybe talk to the wardrobe, we'll see what we can get, and we'll keep you in the loop. We are here with Tanya Jacobs. Now you are the wardrobe director. What's the proper title? I'm the head of wardrobe. Head of wardrobe for um, Cirque du Soleil, Barakai. This is a, a huge logistical, um, for many people, I would think a nightmare. But, but what I'm curious about is, as the head of wardrobe, how many of these costumes are your, come from your own concept? Uh, for this show, uh, the costumes are all designed by uh, a costume designer. Her name was Iko Shioka, and she designed the costumes when the show was created. Uh, so we don't actually create any of these designs. We maintain them, we look after them, and we try and keep them as true to her original designs as she originally intended. Um, so we just keep the colors really fresh. We, um, we repair it, and we repair it. And if sometimes there's an artist that needs to learn a new trick, we need to adapt the costume, we'll work on that. But again, in line, very much in line with the idea of, of the, the designer at the beginning of the show when it was created. We got a bit of a height difference here. Are we both in? Should I drink? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are here with Soon, who is a slippery performer. Is yes. that what it's called? What is a slippery performer? Um, uh, they will put a slippery surface on the stage, and it's uh, like blue, bluish. So actually, we're supposed to be under the water. So we're like kind of underwater characters. And then uh, my partners will slide me over the stage. We have special shoes. Like the outside is uh, more slippery, so we turn outside so we slide much better. But the actual part we do in the show um, is making pyramids. Um, and then I will do handstands on top of my two partners. And they will throw me in the air and I will do saltos and they will catch me again. So super easy stuff, obviously. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can do this at home. And this is your first time performing with Cirque. How has the show been for you? Uh, I love it. Yeah? It's amazing. It's totally different than what I used to, like in acrobatics, competing against each other. Um, now it's more like having fun and really enjoy the things you're doing. It's well, we're very excited to see you in the show. We wish you all the best this weekend. Thank you very and much. You, and you can check out Cirque as well. Just log on to the KRC box office and grab your tickets. Thank you. Oh, God.